This is my grandfather's number 1A folding pocket Kodak Model D camera. Made sometime from 1898 to 1910 in Rochester, New York. I hadn't even known of its existence until one day when I was sitting in the living room and curiously saw it up on the mantel. I didn't know it then, but finding this camera was the beginning of a very interesting search for the connection between a granddaughter and her grandfather. This is my postcard collection. Arizona stone carvings, 20th birthday sash, pencil case, my teddy bear, my camp counselor whistle, an old cigar box full of birthday cards, my choir letter, comedian mask, paintbrushes, plastic pineapple, my entire bottle cap collection, reading glasses, cleats. But my most prized possession is the journal I kept during the summer of 2009 when I studied abroad in Scotland. This is my grandfather's pocket watch, his pipe, measuring tape, slide rule, pocket knife, typewriter, American Revolutionary plate, watch, siding tool, fork. But possibly his most prized possession is his 40 years worked book on the ancestry of the Pattersons. Three inches thick and over 500 pages of names, dates, cities, and birth certificates. It starts at the beginning. For five weeks, I wrote every day. I filled this journal with stories, experiences, and people I had met. Ticket stubs, pictures, receipts, coasters, soda tops, candy wrappers, things I found, pamphlets, the old shirt that got torn up in the dryer, even the number of some guy named Pete that I found on the underground. Anything and everything went in this journal. Born July 1st, 1989 in Alexandria, Virginia, I was always the kid either running around outside or coloring on a sheet of paper. I had a relatively average childhood involving friends, school, and bubbles, all leading up to who I am now. My grandfather's book goes back all the way to 1709 when the first Adam Patterson traveled over from Ireland. But whether it be a great-great-great-grandfather, first lieutenant of the 38th Iowan Infantry, the beginning settler of the 1869 Correctionville House, where everyone before my grandfather lived and farmed, a distant Australian cousin, my great-great-uncle who died of diphtheria at the age of five, or a former member of the American Association of University Women, it all comes back to my grandfather, the man who figured it all out. Born March 18, 1912 in Cleveland, Ohio, Norman George Patterson was a farmer in Iowa and graduated Iowa State College as an agronomy student in 1937, where he was a member of the Delta Tau Delta fraternity. He was a botanist and practiced farming techniques for the majority of his life, until retirement when his genealogy project took off. On July 5, 1941, he married my grandmother, Gladys Pauline Winford, and started their chapter of the Patterson story. In 1944, he joined the Army, but was discharged the same year due to pneumonia. In 1984, he visited Ireland for the first time, documenting names and gravestones to see where the Pattersons first came from. In 2001, while restoring grave markers in Missouri, my grandfather died at the age of 90, doing what he loved. 77 years separates us, but I think we're a lot alike. Both of us, in a way, storytellers, wanting nothing left out. Neither of us are the story, we're just a part of it. With the objects he once owned and the objects I see every day, I've learned about myself and where I come from, and even more about him. To most, my grandfather was a man known for doing things himself, but I knew him as my funny grandpa who let us stick plunges to the floor and play skittles all day. He was a patient, hardworking man, and this was his camera.